influencer asal Arab Saudi yang cinta Israel ini kutip ayat Alkitab tentang perdamaian. Namanya Luai Al Sharif asal Jeddah, Arab Saudi yang kini menetap di Abu Dhabi, Uni Emirat Arab. Ia memiliki perusahaan public relation dan sejak tiga tahun silam aktif mempromosikan perdamaian antara Arab dan Yahudi, serta Islam dan Kristen. Loai menjadi influencer untuk membangun hubungan antar agama di Timur Tengah. Loai tak canggung misalnya mengikuti sahabat komunitas Yahudi di Uni Emirat Arab. Pada Jewish Insider, Loai mengaku saat mengikuti program homestay untuk pelajar dari sekolahnya di Jeddah, ia ditempatkan pada keluarga Yahudi di Perancis selama setahun. Loai Al Sharif mulai mengenal orang Yahudi dan terjadi perubahan pola pikir. Transformasi signifikan terjadi setelah Loai mulai baca Alkitab. Fakta Israel mengajak Anda menyimak pendapat Loai al Sharif soal perusakan makam Yusuf dan ajaran negatif tentang Yahudi dan Israel yang selama ini ia ketahui. Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum, Hello APAC. My name is Loai al Sharif. I'm a content creator of languages and history on social media and also a peace activist. I am here at the Israeli Pavilion at Expo, sending you my gratitude. I would like to send. I thank you to each and every one of you, APAC, for supporting the Abraham Accords, for supporting this new era of peace, where the words of Isaiah, Hanavi Yishayahu, become true when he said, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, they shall learn war no more. I'm waiting for you in the land of peace and tolerance. Inshallah, and would like to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Yalla, bo! The Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, said that this site is holy to the Jews. I would like to add that it's not only holy to the Jews, it's also holy to the Muslims. We, we believe in, in Joseph, son of Israel, or son of Jacob, like your name. Right. Because, you know, Jacob was renamed Israel. And, 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 also, and also, I would like to, to tell you, Jacob, that the social uh, media influencers in the UAE, in Saudi Arabia, in, in so many places in the Arab world condemn uh, vandalizing the tomb by the Palestinian rioters and it's actually very horrific and and even if even if if uh, like uh, the, the Palestinians are saying that this is not the real tomb of Joseph they really me meant to smear the the uh, what, what what this tomb mean to the Jews what this tomb means to the Jews so it's it's actually it's very um, uh, provocative it reminds me of how Hadrian removed Judea and renamed the land uh, Syria Palestina. So it, it, to me and to so many people who love Joseph, I am a proud Muslim who loves uh, Joseph and uh, the, 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 the Israeli prophets. We have, we have Jacob. We have an entire chapter in the Quran named after Jacob, son of, uh, son of, uh, of, of, of Isaac. So uh, this is absolutely horrendous, unacceptable, and it's I believe it's a, it's an it's an act of terror. And I do I do agree. Joseph should unite Muslims and Jews like like most of the Israeli prophets. It's very ironic when 1.5 billion Muslims worldwide believe in the in the prophets of Israel, and then they 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 agree or they tend to. Uh, um, to normalize this act, vandalizing the tomb of uh, of Joseph uh, by the Palestinians, I believe it's it's a it's a horrendous act. As you said, the prophets of Israel should bring Muslims and Jews closer together. Uh, Ramadan coming every day. Israel. I'll tell you the, the truth, nothing but the truth, okay? So I'll tell you on, honestly, in the Arab world, if you grow up, 
uh, if you were born in 80s or 70s or even 90s, you grew up with a, a, a simple narrative. Jews are evil. Jews have fans. Jews are, um, are evil creatures and uh, they are conspiring with their Christian counterparts uh, in one table to take over the world. So the, 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 um, the theory is that the Jews are evil and Jews are taking this land because they want to be um, on a front line to attack Muslims or to hurt Muslims or to do whatever they want to do. We were never told the right narrative, and to be very honest, uh, Eli, I was, I was once in my life, I was affected by this narrative, and I thought, okay, everyone's saying the Jews are bad, Jews are evil, so so the Jews are evil, the Jews are bad, you know. So it takes you an extra step to change by education, and this what happens, or this what happened when I lived with a Jewish family in France. I changed, uh, I really changed a lot, and I. I learned a lot about Israel and about the history of the Jewish people and and this is one of my messages. Damai selalu baik, berdamai pasti baik. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.